April 2nd. Today's scripture. Rejoice greatly, daughter Zion. Shout, daughter Jerusalem. See your king comes to you, righteous and victorious, lowly and riding on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. Zechariah 9, verse 9, the New International Version. Today's guide. When preparing for today, think about the following. Jesus is willing to help carry our burden with us so we don't have to bear its weight alone. Food for thought. Grief and loss can be overwhelming, leaving us feeling helpless and hopeless at times. But there is hope found in today's scripture. This scripture speaks of a king who comes to bring justice and peace with him, arriving lowly on a donkey. It reminds us that we are not alone in our struggles, but have a loving king who understands our pain and will come to redeem it. The imagery of this scripture gives us comfort by visualizing God as someone who humbles himself to meet us where we are, even if that means traveling slowly on an animal like a donkey or a colt to get there. This image of Christ brings solace during times of grief because it tells us that he cares so much for his people that he would go out of his way to reach them, no matter how difficult their circumstances may be. Jesus' willingness to come close shows his love for those suffering from any kind of loss. He is willing to help carry the burden with them so they don't have to bear its weight alone. The words righteous and victorious assure us that God is on our side, coming to make things right. We have hope that justice will be served and renewal will come from our losses. Knowing this can help us to endure the pain of sorrow trusting in the better future, even if we can't yet see it. This verse inspires us with courage, as it points out that despite all hardship, God still comes as a king to bring peace and restore what has been lost. Gratitude Practicing gratitude helps us to remember the blessings that we have been given and to appreciate those things, no matter how small they may seem. A grateful heart can open up so many doors and bring joy into our lives as well as others. When we take the time to recognize all that we are grateful for, it not only brings peace to our souls, but also reminds us of God's grace and love towards us. Today, what or who do you have to be thankful for? Tip, a grateful heart doesn't just benefit us, but others too. When we are filled with thankfulness, it is much easier to show love towards one another. Today's Prayer Lord, you rode into the city humbly on a colt, a donkey, the lowliest of the low, to the cheers of thousands who thought you would free them from Roman control. Your plan was far more significant. You showed us in the last days of your life here that victory and freedom were in our living, free from sin and death, if we chose to follow you. We would be co-heirs in eternity with you forever. Amen.